You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Mm -hmm. Your parents oh, didn't raise you this way. Was on the thing. And neither did I. He's still alive. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. didn't break his arm, we did the right thing. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I'll accept them. I won't forget. Neither will I. Oh, it's finished. Are we going to cliffhanger? Or do we get to find well, it out? Back into the fray again. We've also got updated Gotham feed and updated dated codex. I guess we'll read those first. Corruption rumors tarnish Wayne family legacy by Julia Martins. The Waynes have long been considered one of Gotham's most respected families, but new allegations of tied family patriarch Dr. Thomas Wayne and his wife Martha to the illegal business dealings of the Falcone crime family. If that's true, it's possible the Wayne family's staggering fortune, estimated being the billions, could be seized by authorities pending an investigation into the, their current business practices. This would be a blow to heir Bruce Wayne, who has continued his father's practice of using money for philanthropy. However, Dr. Wayne met a violent end as a victim of random street crime two decades ago. While there has been no comment on the allegations from Wayne, he did hold a private meeting with Falcone's crime family head, Carmen Falcone, at the Wayne, family, uh, the Wayne family's Gotham City mansion, which is only adding to the speculation. Batman tangles with masked a uh, crook, uh, crook atop uh, City Hall. Actually, I want to talk about the previous one for a second. So, it said that we held a private meeting. Here's my theory about what the other side of this is, if we let Harvey in. It would just tie Harvey to the uh, crime more. I think that would be the way it would go. So, I think we still did the right thing. By Connor Barton. A daring raid on the City Hall office of Mayor Hamilton Hill ended last night with two massive roof... with a massive rooftop brawl between Batman and a uh, masked cat burglar, uh, the police have dubbed Catwoman. The battle resulted in a heart-stopping plunge off the side of a building which left Catwoman's fate unclear. However, her team of mercenaries were apprehended by authorities. Her team of mercenaries. Cool, I was right. Uh, what, neither the GCPD nor representatives of the Hill administration have revealed what, if anything, was stolen from the mayor's office. Despite the outcome, we have many, have been, many have begun to wonder if Batman let the burglar go free. We can't outsource our safety to anonymous people in the sky, said Gotham um, Police Commissioner. Pete Grogan. You can never trust whose side they're really on. Okay, so we haven't got the um, newspaper thing about uh, what make us look better, but we have got all of these ones. We've got a few things about our previous stuff, so I guess next time we look at it, we might get the other uh, thing. Codex. Who's been updated? Harvey Dent's been updated. I have Harvey looking into why Mayor Hill sees my assets. I, maybe I should be more concerned that his new friend, Selena Kyle, is the Catwoman. Yeah, okay. Turns out her real name is Selena Kyle and she's friends with Harvey. More troubling, she knows I'm Bruce Wayne. This will need to be dealt with soon. Okay. 
name is Gordon. I hid from Gordon after interrogating the witness at the docks. I got what I needed. No reason to stick around and chat. I have to trust Gordon sees past his fear of Batman to realise we're on the same side. <laughs> Vicky Vale. She tried to prod me for a quote, claimed uh, to want to help my family's name. No deal. Okay, I thought we gave her a quote. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, Falcone's goons uh, acquired explosive chemicals in a heist at the docks. After interrogation, a suspect admitted that Falcone plans to use them soon, but how? Is it a weapon? Hmm. Okay. And then we got our data. Let's see what it is. It looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been Working involved together. in everything. And it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That's that why Falcone has why stepped up made a some of his operations. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. Or maybe that's why he hired uh, Selena Kyle. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Mm -hmm. Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Hmm. You have to choose between James Gordon and Vicky Vale. I think Vicky Vale would be the better way of doing this. Because if we give it to James Gordon, James Gordon's going to be starting to push, uh, piece together some things about, um, you know... He th I think... And I'm not sure. I think Vicky Vale it would be like she's more used to anonymous uh, large amounts of data. I don't know. It's, I don't think there's a wrong choice here. I think they're both fine. So, yeah, Vicky. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Okay. We gave it to her as Bruce. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's going to be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I want to turn the entire city yeah. against Falcone. The media, the public, the police. Mm -hmm. Once the story drops, every single person connected with Falcone will turn their back on him. Oh, it may paint a target what on her back. For the city, that might be a bad choice now that I'm thinking about it. I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next You're time right. my name appears in the that. media... God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I could be putting myself in well, real danger by trying to expose him. I'll protect you, I promise. Oh, chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not Batman. I always think... Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head... Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? 
If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Harvey Wouldn't Gordon or Batman. Time. We have to push it on Harvey. It's what we've been doing the whole time. I backed Harvey's campaign for a reason. Fixing Gotham starts at the top. <laughs> Although, why didn't we take this rescue? stuff to Harvey? <laughs> for once, I think. That would have been much better. No matter how good looking he is. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. I kind of feel done. like we made the wrong Good. choice there. I so think we should have given it to Gordon. The drones located Falcone Second downtown, thought. a place called the Skyline Club. Okay. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, our car. That, that's pretty neat. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Of the balcony. Good point of entry. Possibly. Ooh, okay. This is... This is gnarly to control, but that's fine. Uh, patrons. Can you make your round? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned the powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Okay. Nothing else around there. Ooh, modern art. Check it out. Nothing here. Okay, fair enough. Rose sig uh, sigil. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Okay. Who are these people? No one in particular. Is there a thing? Oh, there it is. Office. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. My stealth not an option. Um, so we probably want to get the one over here first, right? If we're if we're choosing things, we get him. Mm couple of options for taking this guy down. Hang him from the side of the building? Uh, what? Well, it says there's a couple of options, but there appears to just be... Oh, there's also the upper balcony. We could jump down on him. Oh, let's come from the railing. That's fine. Enter in here. Get this guy. Against the pillar, I guess? Yeah, probably against the pillar. See if there are any other options. Staircase. So, would that mean we leap from the staircase onto him? Or are we trying to hit him into the pillar? Uh, turns into a single landing. I'm just trying to see what it is. Should be quickly neutralized. I guess we'll just hit him into the pillar. There we go. Just 
to the next one or you see one back there and is this our other one this is our other one which one do I want to go with first let's go with this one next we'll hit him into the modern art of course that looks like that would hurt Oh, we're actually just going to chuck the modern art at his face. Well, I mean, that works too. And this mobster. Oh, did I cancel the link? The other link? Ah, oh, I cancelled the link here. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. Okay, modern art. It cancelled the link instead of uh, starting a new one there. Right. Set that up. Move away. Make very careful that we don't cancel the link. Really? It won't let me do... Okay, we'll do this mobster first. Because apparently, um, even though it says examine, it will cancel the link even if it's on, if it's on the screen. Um, get coffee table into his face? Possibly. Do we have any other options? hit them with a folding screen. I mean, I want to see what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then into the modern art. Okay. To you. This is difficult to control. Like, it's very weird. I know. Get him. There's our full plan. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. That one down. Yeah, okay. Get rid of the uh, gun. And get rid of both. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Out of the way. And let's do 
gehört. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Ah, there. The uh, weapon. The Sato. Answers now. Will you fall? You. Uh, 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 all right. All right. Uh, the chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling He's card. He's being set up. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? I called it. Yeah. Something reeks about this whole thing. And it is a dead bat. Still want to play games. We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, alright? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal. Because I. Did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. We either brutalize ah. him. Gotham. We arrest him. <laughs> what a place. Yes, we'll arrest him. While you still can. It's the wings. <coughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Alfred was there. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Oh. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, mm. may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who? are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. Car. 
this entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Okay. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was, uh... I was pretty, I had a lot of, um, also like how they're doing the credits, it lets you look at your stuff while, you, while the credits are going. Um, but yeah, it had a lot of um, references in there, it had a lot of foreshadowing for if you'd ever seen any bit of Batman media before. I also like how it didn't make you do the origin story of Batman again, because I was worried it was going to make you, it was going to do it like another retelling of that. This is cool. Um, I also like the detective stuff, I can see how that would get, um... How that could get more complicated, especially if it has the ability for you to choose the wrong option. Like, if you link two bits of evidence, it's like, well, that isn't the correct uh, link, but you can still carry on. That would be cool, and then you get confronted with it later. I would be interested with that, if that's the way they go. But it wasn't a bad start. I'd also heard that the PC version of this game had, like, a lot of bugs, and I saw, like, the, fr uh, the frames jitter a few times during it. Like, um... It wasn't so much that the frame rate went down, it was that it was just kind of... It looked like the frame rate was going down. Like, it looked like it was uh, chugging, but it really wasn't. So, yeah. It, it wasn't as bad as some people had said, though. There was a small patch before I played it, so maybe that fixed it. Anyway, we'll go for our choices and then we'll wrap this all up. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? You and 39.6% of players shut Harvey out of the private meeting. I felt it was just best to... I felt that um, Harvey had told us the whole time that, um, you know, we had to be nice for Falcone, he was wanting to get... He was wanting to keep him on his good side, you know. And if Falcone didn't want Harvey in there, then bringing Harvey in there is only going to make Harvey mad and Falcone mad. So I was like, there's no reason to do it. So that's why I did it. Obviously, it's been twisted around against us, but I have said that... I think, I think that if we had brought Harvey in, it would have just implicated Harvey more. So, I think we made the right choice. Did you provide a quote for Vicky's story? Uh, yes, as did most other people. Yeah, it just seemed, this one seemed obvious. You, not providing a quote just made her not like you. That was pretty much it. If she likes you, then you've got an ally. I am interested to see who, who most people chose out of Gordon and Vicky. I suspect most people chose Vicky, but we'll see. Did you break the arm? Oh, that was a pretty 50-50, not breaking the arm. I could see breaking the arm if you thought there was more information to be gained. I wonder if you broke it, whether he would tell you that um, it wasn't Falcone all along. I don't know. We'll see. Who did you give the data to? Wow, I'm actually surprised that most people gave it to Gordon. I suspect, actually, maybe most people gave it to Gordon just because they know Gordon more in other media. But that's, that is crazy. Also, I would have given it to Gordon in hindsight, thinking about when she was saying the target on her head. It would have been less to Gordon than it would be to her. But I wonder whether later this is going to lead to the data being further out there. Whether there's going to be any impact from it. Because this seemed like it was very much a big, cho like, there's some small choices in there. But this seemed like this was a big choice, like this was a thing that you were, like, you know, this was like, here's a choice. Choose one or the other is going to change something kind of more drastically. So, I'm, I'm interested in seeing where that goes. How did we deal with Falcone? Well, brutalizing him would just be bad, no matter what. Like, we were told off for uh, doing anything with that guard. So it's like, you know, brutalizing him, what's the point? You know, there wasn't really much point to that, it's just, um... You know, it's, it was just the, the easy choice. And that's all of them there. So, thank you for watching, and we're going to watch the next time on and see what happens. What happens next time on? Batman. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. 
I would never betray them. Is that all we get? Your parents were good people. Oh, we get some more. No okay. matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully this one knocks something useful out of him. And there's Oswald. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. Mm-hmm. I have to- Oh, we told him to do that. Distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Well. No too exciting. And I will see you for that episode next time. I'm definitely going to play it. I want to know what happens. I think this is this was a good start. And, uh, yeah. I want to see... How they t I want to see whether anything we did here actually makes a difference in it further on. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.